Hello everybody, John Anderson Pierre back again, another beer ramble and another rehash. Tecate. I always call it Tecata, or but Tecate Lager, the original beer imported. Um, company was bought out by uh, Anhe uh, excuse me, Heineken. I believe it was in nineteen late the late nineties, early two thousands. I my Memory could be wrong on that. Um, got my frost, my frosty glass. An authentic full body lager, Tecate, is the bold taste of Mexico for over 70 years. We brewed our beer for those born with the appreciation for crisp flavor, quality ingredients, and originality. We brew it for those who are born bold. Yes, I would say that is the case. 4.5% ABV, uh, of course, Tecate Light. Um, Sol, uh, El Presidente, uh, Dos Equis, and Dos Equis Lager Special, and Dos Equis Ambar are all part under the same umbrella of the Heineken International or Heineken Mexico group. Um, from the brewery of, again, I'm going to beat up my Spanish here, which ain't good, but Cheveze Cosazuma Motozamo Brewery in Monterey, Mexico. Or I basically I like to call the brewery now CCM. Let's just but call it like that. Yes, I butchered my Spanish folks, sorry. Here's what the lager looks like. So I got a lot of head up top again. Frosty glass. Bought the 25 ounce can, it was a dollar seventy-nine at a service station. Uh Looks like right here. It's not a light lager, but could go as a full body. It's not as light a, a light lager like say Rolling Rock, uh, but definitely some of that Euro um, brewing techniques that they do um, at the brewery. You know, a lot of our malts. It definitely has a very Sound of a little hint of sweetness, but definitely some malts in this as well. Yeah. Smells good, obviously. So I've done the did a review of this not too long ago. Uh, well, a year, two years ago when I started. Uh, doing beer reviews um, started actually three years ago, 2015. But uh, this is um, my second my second time attempt rehashing this. I, I get it from time to time. Most of the 25 ounce cans, I think the bottles, the 12 packs of the cans or bottles, uh, if you can get them, run about 13 bucks around there in my area. I'm sure it could be more in your city. Or it could be less, um, but bit of a price for a, for a twelve pack. But you know, you pay it, you pay it. You know, but definitely a beer that is worth trying out because of its flavor, and it is quite good. You now, and uh, here it is. Let's go down the hatch. Take these big gulps from time to time, not these sips. Big gulps. So, I'm eating what's left of a salmon I had the other day. It pairs well with it. I'm definitely getting those tastes again, as I mentioned, those flavors of the way a lot of the Europeans make their other styles of beers, you know. The Euro lockers, the Stella Trois, you know, the Pilsner Urkel, Urkel, Peroni, um, even some of the Japanese style beers like uh, Sing um, have tend to follow those same techniques in brewery. Um, and 
again, if you want to compare it to some of the other Mexican beers uh, that, for example, from Grupo Modelo brands, of course, were responsible for you know, Modelo, Modelo Especial. I mean, excuse me, Modelo Especial, Negra, Modelo, Modelo, Negra now. Um, of course, Corona, Corona Light, Corona La Familiar, Corona Premier, which surprisingly is doing very well. I mean, even though it is a, a lighter beer, and they do have a light beer in Corona Light. Um, go figure on that. Um, what else did I mentioned more than uh, Pacifico and Victoria. And all of them seem to have that, I mean, they're not identical completely, but what the Heineken Mexico people brew versus what the group of Modelo folks brew, highly different, but it's kind of the same process. They seem to follow the same Euro form of brewing beers where the ABV could be light, you know, like 4.5, 4.6, whatever, but you feel like you're drinking a stronger, stronger beer. Why is that? I don't know. The grass notes sent to it, it has sort of that, uh, aftertaste that you know you're drinking something like you would drink Heineken, like you would drink uh, Amstel Light. Um, what's that other famous beer? As I mentioned, you know, Peroni and Stella Trois, kind of that same feel and taste to it. So, Definitely a very nice finish to it. I don't want to say bread taste, but kind of, again, a little mention of sweetness to this beer. But, all not good. Um, and as I mentioned in some of the other videos I've, I've said on, on all these, these beers coming out of that country of Mexico, they've, and even uh, beers from... Uh, the Caribbean, like Caribbean, for example, Prestige, you know, which also is owned by Heineken International, um, which is brewed in Haiti, like my 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 family's homeland, proud Haitian American. Um, they've kept the breweries, even though they're ownership, but they've kept the breweries in their respective cities, in those respective countries, because it's very important for the for that area's economy and for the for the folks and people that sort of a sense of pride that hey this product we make here in this country is from us and we put we put it together and that 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 says a lot and especially when these companies usually when companies buy them out they'll like uproot and say hey we're gonna you know sorry we're shutting this brewery down we're gonna try to streamline costs and we're gonna move it here but everything has kind of remained in that location so um uh, again, I, I, I like the light version. I think that's good. This one, I it's all right. I mean, it's again, it's good. Um, between the two, I like the light version of this. But um, overall, um, I'm not going to say the Heineken Mexico or the CCM Brewery in Monterey, Mexico is inferior to the Grupo Mandelo folks, but I would lean towards more of their beers than I would this. But again, all their beers to me are, are very enjoyable. You know, Dos Equis, Dos Equis Ambar, which I think Dos Equis Ambar is better than Dos Equis Lager Especial. Um, uh, Soul is all right. Uh, what other beer I'm missing from there? Uh, yeah, that... And you know, or is good, but I would lean towards you know, Corona Modelo, definitely. I like very much so. Um, La Familiar, also, I like as well. I would more lean towards them than this, but again, all of them are good. That's just my view of it. So, again, pairings with anything obviously, Mexican food comes to mind, but you can pair it with some seafood, um, you can pair it with anything that's very spicy, anything very. Uh, rich and with a lot of flavors and, and with a lot of heat would go well with this beer. So, um, so that's it. I'm about to go over my time here. So, very good as I had it the first time. Still the same score for me. Um, 
don't remember what that score was, but uh, I say I will give Tecate Lager a B plus score. That would be an eight point six. The score for me on that one. So oh, there. Three point zero, eight point five is B plus. Eight point zero is a B minus going on a B. Eight point four, eight point five is a B plus, I guess. So B plus score right there. So eight point five, eight point six for Takate. John and Pierre, the beer ramble team. Keep on watching as always. Cheers. Takate, 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 Rehash.